good evening welcome back to another video today's video is all about baked ziti i'm making baked ziti and welcome to donnie's kitchen that is the video and the recipe i'm going to make i'm going to show you all the ingredients that i have here sitting on the counter so welcome back to another video tonight is baked ziti today is february 11th 2023 and it is a saturday evening the time now is 5 41 p.m here here in Donnie's kitchen so let's get started in this video but before i do make sure you are subscribed to Donnie's kitchen and definitely when you do it helps my channel out here so with your support thank you all so much from my heart god bless you all thank you so much for who you are what you are whoever you all are in the world um, subscribe me keep continuing to subscribe me keep liking these videos give them a thumbs up comment and like and definitely if you want a video a type of a cooking video a different video for cooking or anything let me know what else you want me to make um yes i am here thank you all so much i hope you all are having a wonderful saturday evening and I hope you all really enjoyed your weekend and it's one more day sunday and then back to work monday so i totally get it so this weekend i have to work all weekend and yeah so let's get started in tonight's video this is a eight by this is an eight by eleven pan this is by and um this is by anchor so this is the pan i'm going this is the dish pan i'm going to use for the bake of cd and then this is a close to about almost three pounds this is a 2.44 and this is about twelve dollars and 18 cents at my local grocery store where i work at and shop at and here is the crab shredded parmesan cheese we're going to put into also as well into the bowl and this is in a five ounce so if you definitely see this in your dairy definitely pick it up and get it this is only a five ounce um for this i'm going to use that and this is the our family sour cream that i told you about in a 16 ounce so definitely get this at your dairy department i'm going to use that we're going to also use as well the dairy fresh um, whole milk ricotta cheese for this also as well. And this is in a 15 ounce. So we're going to use the whole container for the baked ziti. And we're going to also use, these were on sale by Kraft um, for like 2 for $6 at my local grocery store. So this is a mozzarella cheese. I got two of them so I'm going to use both of these. So I do have my skillet on, uh, on like a medium heat right now. So we're going to use, we're going to put this meat into the skillet. Yep, we're going to do that right now. And we're also going to season it too also as well. So I just take just the pound, the first half of it just like that. And then the other, that way I'm not touching it as much. And I also washed my hands already before I did the video. So, yes. I'm going to use two different spaghetti sauces. I'm going to use the Hunt Pasta um, spaghetti sauce. This is the four cheese one. We're going to use this whole can or half of it. And then this is our family brand um, on sale at my local grocery store where I shop at and work at. Um, this is the, the 24 ounce, but it's a one pound, like eight ounce. This is the roasted garlic and herb pasta sauce, two for two for four dollars, so two dollars. And we're also going to put seasonings into the um, like into the cold mixture part to like the the filling. We're going to use that too as well. Um, now these are the seasonings that we're going to use: is the oregano, the Italian seasoning, and we're going to also use parsley. But that's just for the filling, you know, when you bake baked ziti that's going to go in there also as well and then also this one can our family diced regular um tomatoes so this is going to go in there as well 
and I already cooked the baked ziti. This is what you need. There, this is the rigid um, ziti noodles that you're going to need by Molars. And this was on sale um, a, a few weeks ago at my local grocery store for I want to say two for three dollars. So like that. And also too, when you cook your your actually um, regatoni no uh, ziti noodles. Make sure you just cook them for about eight minutes. Cook them for eight minutes. Do not cook them longer than that because you're gonna put your your baked ziti in the oven. So you want to put that on to at least 375, okay? And you want to let it go for between 40 to 50 minutes, no longer than 50 minutes, okay? Until the cheese and everything is melted. So we already got the meat going now. We're going to season it with just garlic powder, seasoned salt, and onion powder. So let's get started with that now. So here is the seasoned salt right here. This is the granulated garlic powder. And I'll give you the exact measurements. I'll give you the exact measurements too on the description box below so you can follow this recipe. Or if you already make big ziti and or if you're a new cook, you know, do it your way in your kitchen. But yeah, I just want to say thank you all so much for just liking my videos, subscribing. Thank you so much. And also sharing your videos with family and friends. Tell them it is a new channel out here called Diane's Kitchen. Yeah, here to stay. So yeah, while that is cooking, um, I'm going to get everything else open and things like that. And I'm going to get a bowl so I can get the filling ready. So yeah, so that would be already set by the time the meat is basically done. You want to also make sure that your your stove top is on medium heat for your meat make sure that and yep let's just keep going on with this There's some pieces of meat that I'm going to taste also as well, just to see if I need extra seasonings or anything like that. Make sure you um, test, um, test, taste your food, excuse me, taste your food to see if you need any more seasonings, like any more garlic powder, onion powder, seasoned salt, or black pepper. Very good. You may need like a little bit of more ground black pepper. So I didn't add that in, but I'm adding it in right now. Just a few sprinkles of that, just to you know, even that type, even that um, the onion powder, garlic powder, you know, and seasoned salt seasoning. And you don't need too much of this as well. You don't need too many. You don't need too much black pepper. So just a few sprinkles, but I will leave it in the description box below. So while I'm letting the meat brown get to no longer pink, you want to make sure you use a colander. Have a have a colander already out already, so that way when your meat is done. The, that meat will drain. So let me get my colander and I'll be right back. Oh, there it is right here. Okay. So this is my colander. I'm going to put this into my sink. And you know, as always, I tell you, make sure you have hot water into your sink. So if you have any dirty dishes or you're about to have dirty dishes, clean 
as you go clean as you go in your kitchen please that's just what i do that's just how my mom and my grandparents my, my grandmothers and my aunts raised all of us to be because that way you um after dinner you won't have too much dishes to wash if you like to do um your dishes with hand washing i do i love that because i do not have a dishwasher but if you have a dishwasher you are truly truly blessed and grateful yes so when hamilton and i do move i'm going to make sure i have a dishwasher in our kitchen for sure yes and yeah and you can also make this meal too because valentine's day is like less than five days now um no six days i'm sorry it's about less than six days so it's about five about five days um yeah so you can also make this baked ziti with your husband ladies or guys you can make this with your with your wife or with your girlfriend or with your fiance you can both get in the kitchen together and make baked ziti together you know as um as valentine's day you know you don't have to be one cook in the kitchen you know it can be both you know or if you're already married you know or just got married like six months ago or like a year ago you definitely make this baked ziti together and you got the kids going with the grandparents it's just you and hubby that is a wonderful having time in the kitchen with your significant other i think so yeah but mine just got home so <laughs> he is in his and um, he's playing his game so but it's okay it's no big deal right now but also to um make sure you rinse your cans off because with the distributors are touching the cans you know because and then with then they taking it to the grocery store and then you have the people the employees you know not people employees that works for that that store that they're shipping the the cans to and they're touching it too you want to just make sure you keep your top very clean you know just wipe it off you know and with your other cans also as well you want to do the same thing and also do it with your jars also as well so i already did it with the jars already so i'm going to just um open this up with my electric can opener I love having an electric can over. We want to get a different one, but we want to wait till we get a hot one to, to move. You know, we want to wait till we move um, and get a like a red can opener. You know, like electric can opener. No, you don't. You know, we have some things we want to definitely do. And also, yes, with your noodles too. Make sure. I'm sorry. I'm talking underneath. I'm sorry. Make sure you have a lid too that fit your um your pot too make sure you uh, have your pasta covered with the lid i mean to tell you that make sure you have your pasta covered with the lid because you know you don't want your noodles to dry out quite yet because you're not draining them just yet you're still working on cooking the meat you know so you definitely want to make sure of that and then i'm watching this movie called mama's mama floor mama floors family on tubi tv so definitely if you don't have tubi tv put it onto your phone you know because you can watch it you know like at work or you know if you have like a nine to five job or whatever and you know you want to watch something you know different you know definitely uh have the app on your phone it's totally free so yeah i have it on my phone And my meat is almost being done cooked. So I'm just stirring it up for just a, a minute or so. Just to make sure. So I'm letting it cook, you know. And it's no rush to when you make your meals. Take your time. It's no rush. Don't um, don't actually rush when you're cooking. I'll be right back. something in my baking pan that I had already um, oh okay. alright so um, yeah if you have like wow, everything is falling okay. okay so 
if you have extra um rigatini rigots I'm, I'm sorry rigid ziti noodles you can use it for next time or you can see what's on the box what's on the back of the box too and you can make their recipe or if you have like if you want to do like a pasta salad with these noodles you know you can you know you can make all kinds of stuff with these noodles so they are telling me or showing me um how to make the baked ziti that they have here you know you could definitely go by this on the back of your packaging to your baked ziti but if you have a certain one that you want you know to make for your family and you it's good to do so i'm going to get a bowl because my meat is about almost done cooking so i'm gonna bowl so i can basically uh get this together here this out the way this out the way Okay. I'm gonna put this right here because so I can be out of my way for just a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna get a bowl and I'll be right back. So I'm using this bowl for my filling real quick. So I'm gonna just rinse it out. That way, you know, it can be already, I mean, it's already clean, but I just wanted to do it, um, just have it clean one more time, you know, so just in case, okay. And you can use any bowl. You can use a clear mixing bowl, you know, like a glass one. But I just wanted to use this one because I already have it clean and I already have it down already on top of my refrigerator. So yes, we're going to use this for the fill. Okay, so while your meat is still cooking and you're not really touching it, you're still letting it cook, you know, you can definitely, you know, stir it, you know, of course, for sure. And, you know. Make sure that you get all your meat down. Okay. We're going to use a different tool. This is the meat chopper that I got from Tumi. We're going to use this. Because it, I mean, it cooks your cooking time more faster. And it just chops your, 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 your meat down, you know. You can use if you have ground chicken, ground turkey, ground beef, ground chuck. out the way and we're gonna put that right here so what we're going to do is use this ricotta and definitely check your dates too on your dairy products that you get from the dairy department I just I just what I like to do you know for sure okay so we are going to use a spoon and we're just gonna go for the Whole container but this is only in a this is only in a 15 ounce container of the ricotta cheese so we're going to use that and this is my first time ever making baked ziti but I do have a recipe on it though into my own cooking book and that's what I want to do within Within a couple of years, I mean, you know, maybe if God's really enable to make a cookbook, because that's what I I would love I would love to do, you know, 
have my own cookbook and I'm just gonna take just half of this sour cream mixture and that should be quite enough you know I only use half of it half of the container and definitely put this back into the refrigerator So now next, you want to take your Parmesan um, shredded cheese. Okay. And you want to just sprinkle in some in first, see if you need more. Okay, and just set this aside for just a minute or two. Okay. So then you want to mix your... your sour cream mixture first okay then you want to put in this is about two tablespoons of, of oregano leaves that I put in there okay then I'm taking parsley flakes taking about two tablespoons but if you need to add more, you know, go right ahead. I'm adding about two, table, two tablespoons and a half of parsley. And I'm doing the same thing for Italian seasoning. Okay, this is about two tablespoons. You don't want to add too much, so you want to just do about two tablespoons of that and mix this all together. And it smells really good. You want to just taste this to make sure you got, you know, what you need. Mm hmm Very good. So that is your filling. It looks very good to me. to put this in the back up here for right now for a minute or so until I'm ready to use it. I'm going to check one more time on my meat. Okay. So I do have my meat cooked. It looks about good to me. And make sure you definitely have your hot water ready, you know, with your dish, whatever dish soap that you love to use. And I'm gonna move the laptop just over just a little bit so I won't get it on to the laptop with draining this meat. All right. You just wanna just drain your meat. Take your time draining your meat. I always tell you that. Just take your time draining the meat. back on to your back onto your stove top but reduce your heat down to low because you're about to add your tomato sauce and your diced tomatoes you know to this okay also as well but just make sure that you drain your meat very very good take your time with it make sure all the like the oil from the meat is drained very very well okay and we'll be back I am back so this is I just want to show you again the cans that I used was the Hunt's premium Hunt's pasta sauce and this is in the four cheese this is a very good good one also as well and I show you the other pasta sauce this is the our family roasted garlic and and herb pasta sauce so we're going to put this a little bit 
in here. I'm going to shake it up like that, okay. So I did half and, or I did the whole, I did a whole can of this one and I did half can, a jar of this one of the our family uh, roasted and roasted garlic and herb so i'm going to drain these diced tomatoes i'm just going to drain the actually juice off because i don't need the juice because i have enough juice from the pasta sauce so you want to make sure you drain your if, if you have two cans of these and you're feeding more than two people so like say like four to eight people that's in your family and you have to have you know double Double up this recipe also as well for sure. And then you're going to put your diced tomatoes in here. And again, with the diced tomatoes, they are by our family and it's in a 14.5 ounce. And then you also want to make sure too also as well that you stir this very well take your time with it don't rush it take take your time with your like with your meal you don't want to rush nothing with your with this baked ziti and you all this is my first time ever making baked ziti i haven't made this in a while so this is for also from my family recipe baked ziti like spaghetti baked ziti you know lasagna oh that's in any family recipe or whatever you know, from like passed on to grandma to to their kids, and then passed on to the grandchildren and great grand. You know, so stir it just very very well. Make sure you you know, turn up your your skillet too. You know, so your sauce can really get get it in there good. Make sure it's hot. You know, also as well. Take your time stirring your meat sauce mixture because you're going to add this into your dish pan also as well just like a little bit of it just to the bottom of it and i hope i'm making this right justice <laughs> like i said this is my first time making this in a while in a long time and you can also serve this baked ziti too with um with texas toast you can serve it like with a side, you know, with a side salad, you know, something just simple, just like for me, like out of the out of the bag from your produce department in your grocery store. You know, uh, you can also do that also as well. And just let it just get heated up, let it fit, you know, bubble up around the edges. Make sure that, but yeah, just take your time. So, and I have enough of this, so that's very good. And it smells phenomenal in, in, the, in Donnie's kitchen, of course. So when I make a meal too, I'm gonna have Hamilton help too, because that way, you know, he can help. I, I think I'm gonna have him. I think I'm gonna do a video Thursday, because that's when we're gonna celebrate Valentine's Day for us, because we both have to work on Valentine's Day. So and then plus, tomorrow is game day. Yes, I'm excited. Yes, for sure. They get Philadelphia and the Eagles, if I'm right. I hope I'm right. So, whoever wins, I'll be happy. All right, so you don't want to over stir it. So, um, if I over stir it, please forgive me. But, yeah, but just make sure that you just let this heat up just for a little bit and I have it on medium heat. So, also, as well, we're going to use a ladle, like a ladle. You know to just use just put just a little bit into the pan but just not quite yet so when it's done getting like a little more hotter because you can see the edges of it bubbling up now definitely you want to keep an eye and watch out for that okay so while that is going i'm going to um drain my noodles And you want to just drain your noodles, but take your time. And 
and like I said, you want to just cook your um, cook your noodles for eight minutes total. That's it. No more than eight minutes. Noodles is basically all drained already, and then put the lid back on it again until you're ready to use it. Okay, so yeah, this is basically well, not done yet because I got to, yeah. So let me just let it um, heat up some more. Oh, yeah, it's, it's basically done now. So this is baked ziti. It don't take that long to actually make baked ziti. I say it's like two hours because you gotta make sure your oven is at. Um, it depends on how your your oven is. My, um, I set mine at four hundred, but you can set yours at three seventy five. It, it just depends on how your oven is in your kitchen. Your way, okay. So definitely remember that between three seventy five and four hundred, but it just depends on how your oven is, okay. So we already got the mixture here already. We already did the sauces and the diced tomatoes, the seasonings, okay? So, yeah. Now we're going to open up the first bag of the mozzarella cheese. Because I may not need both bags, but we'll see, okay? We'll see. All right. Okay. So, what you want to do is basically assemble your sauce, assemble everything, and make sure you're... Your dish pan is right next to you to your stove top, okay? So then you want to just basically turn this off, okay? And just take your your ladle, okay? Take your ladle. And just do very, very little the baked ziti, okay? I mean, not uh, the sauce, your meat sauce, okay? Just put very little of it and just spread it out, okay? Just spread it out. But if you think you need to add more, go ahead and add more. Okay. And also, um, if you want to um, want more videos from me or any other recipes for my family, I would definitely love to do that. I would definitely show you some other things that my family has passed down to me. So I would definitely do that for you all. Okay, so that's just enough for right now. So we're going to take, okay, so now you want to put your filling on, I'll show you, because the way I'm not, I'm just cleaning this, looking crazy. Okay, so this is just a little bit of your meat sauce that you want to put down first into your baking dish, okay? You definitely want to do that. Now, put in your filling, you know, just. A little bit of it okay you want to just spread it out okay spread it out because you have just enough you know in here but like I said if you're feeding a double you know family you know go right ahead okay now that is spread it out now you want to Take your, you take your rigid noodles. We're going to use. I need a. Okay, so just basically take your noodles just take the best ones that look the best because if there are let's say just for example that they're broken like this you don't really want to use them but you know you can because they're going to get eaten anyway by your family so you want to just spread out the noodles just a little bit you know put them right on top Okay. 
So that's that. And then you want to shred your cheese. Yeah, so you may need to use both bags. So for this baked ziti, you may want to use both both bags. Make sure it's even out. Take your time. Make sure you get all the edges with the cheese. Because you want to be cheesy, ooey, gooey, gooey when you take it out of the pan. I mean, take it out of the oven. I'm sorry. You definitely want to make sure you do that, okay? Make sure you got enough cheese on each noodle and sauce mixture and then the filling. Okay? That's one. And then you want to repeat it again. Okay? And then now you want to put a lot more sauce. Definitely, oh shoot, making a huge mess now. Okay, definitely want to spread it out. Okay. And this should be just enough for this pan that I have. Okay. Make sure you fill it out really good. Spread it out, you know, with your um, your pan. And if you want to use a larger pan, like a 9 by 13 you can definitely, definitely do that also as well, okay? So this is enough of that. And this should make about three in about like three in a row, okay? And then you want to just put this filling on there. Spread it out really, really good. Take your time. And you want to keep repeating the process till it till it fills up, okay? Okay, then you want to add your cheese. Okay, well that's done. Okay. I'm just I'm sorry, take your time. Hope you can see me doing this. Oh my god, it looks so good. Like wow, it looks really good. Like really good. Okay. Just that got stuck. <laughs> Just take your time, make sure. Excuse me. All right. My kitchen, my way. So, <laughs> this is the baked ziti. And I believe I got it filled. And I'm going to add just about. Well, that looks about good. So, I'm just going to just add the rest of the filling of this. Just a little bit. So, I can just use it all. Okay. right on top of here and you just want to just make sure you repeat your steps you know to the whole entire meal just repeat it okay you want to make sure you have enough of the filling the sauce the, the meat sauce your noodles your cheese so that is basically all done and now i'm going to fill the top with this and then I'm gonna fill it with the extra with the other bag of cheese that I bought so I'm, I'm, I'm glad I bought two of this bag okay this is so good it's filling oh my goodness I'm going to not use this later. I'm going to use the spoon because there we go.
ready, make sure you get it all with your sauce. Okay. Spread it out, take your time. Okay. I have a little bit of the sauce left and a little bit of noodles left, but that's going to be okay. So now, I'm going to put this extra cheese on top of it. Take your time. And cooking is fun to do. It's, it's love when you make food, you know, because it comes from the heart, you know, by love, you know, when I say that, you know. Okay. This is packed beyond packed. <laughs> wow. Okay. So we got enough cheese left still. So I'm going to put in the oven also as well, like a baking sheet, so that way if anything falls falls or overflow, it's going to catch it from the baking sheet. Right back. So this is the baking right here. And this is um, the, the cookie sheet, I'm sorry. Cookie sheet, I'm going to just put this right. No, I'm gonna put it underneath it. I'm gonna put it right here so it can just catch just in case if you know if it over you know flows or whatever it goes right in there. And then I'm sorry, I should I should show you the, the beginning of it. But this is how it looks. It's a really huge <laughs> Baked ziti. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some of this to work tomorrow. So, but I'm gonna take it out for a second because I didn't do it right. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So that's better. Okay. Now it's on here. So. Let it go for about 40 to 50 minutes until the cheese is melted. So every cheese that you put three layers of, the cheese is melted all the way through. So let it go between 40 to 50 minutes in your in your oven. Put it on between 375, 400. I put it on 400 because of my stove. I mean my oven. I'm sorry because of my oven. It cooks very well in my oven that I have for a mobile park. You know, for for a trailer, you know that that we live in. But yeah, um, definitely, I'll come back um after it's done, so you can see the finished process of it. And I hope I did you all justice with this baked ziti chef's kiss. I hope, and I know it is. I'm going to some love from my heart, and I want to share it with you all through my family's recipe. is baked ziti. I haven't made it in a long, long time, so this is my first time ever making it. So I hope I did you all proud and justice, but cook it your way in your kitchen, your way, okay? And yeah, make sure you test also as well your, I'm sorry, not test, taste your meat sauce. You know, when you, when you, after you're done draining your meat, make sure that you uh, taste your meat, taste your sauce too as well with the meat in it um, after you drain it too. And then you want to return your your meat back into your skillet or if you have a large deep skillet or if you have a Dutch oven you can do your meat sauce into your Dutch oven you know reduce the heat down to low stir it a few times you know just let it cook let it just cook and cook okay and then you want to come back to it and definitely make sure 
that you stir this a few times okay and yeah and drain your pasta noodles and put that back into the pot and yeah and you can cook as you can cook you can cook the whole box if you want a rigid uh bait you can cook the whole box excuse me you can cook the whole box of box of rigid ziti noodles if you want or do half of the box because i only used about this much i still have this much left so um i'm going to probably not use those anymore so i'm going to get a whole new fresh box and make like a pasta salad or something else or make a shrimp pasta you know type of meal yeah so i do have some ideas in mind and i'll come back when everything is done okay stay tuned okay i am back for the final and last step of the big ziti i had to clean up the counter clean up the kitchen so that is what i did and um hamilton took the trash out they're so sweet of him that's why i love him so much <laughs> so yeah but i just cleaned up the kitchen and counter and put everything um up and every, you know all the seasonings everything just cleaned up so that way um that way i don't have to do too much when we're done eating dinner and the baked ziti is basically already out the oven already it's just and then you also want to also as well let it sit for about five to like 20 minutes 15 minutes is up to you or you can serve it like immediately right away to your family but yeah um just let it sit for maybe about five minutes or less you don't have to if you don't want to totally up to you your rules your kitchen your way but i'm going to serve mine immediately because hamilton and i are hungry and he just got off work a few hours ago so yeah baked ziti wasn't that hard and it's um um, it's an American meal. The level was easy to cook and it didn't take that long to make it. But to prep everything else, I say about 30 minutes. But cooking time take about 40 to 50 minutes. It depends on your oven, how your oven is. Um, and also for the noodles, it took about 8 minutes. So definitely remember that when you buy the rigid ziti noodles make sure you just cook them for eight minutes because you're going to cook everything else once you assemble everything um to, and before the oven yes uh and that's about pretty much about it and this is the result i'm going to bring the laptop closer so you can see uh oh i'm not shaking it sorry so you can see the baked ziti internet looks delicious i'm going to plate it up too as well so i'm going to plate hamilton's plate and then mine afterwards Okay, so I'm going to use, I'm just going to use this spoon here. So yeah, this is baked ziti and I'm going to get Hamilton's plate now so he can eat. I know he's hungry. Ooh, this is going to be extremely hot because you want to make sure, yikes. Also, as well, Woo. take your time when you do this. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh my goodness, this looks so divine good. You see that she's just gooey, gooey. Wow. So, yeah, be careful when you get the corners because I love the corners. When I make stuff, I love using the corners. <laughs> corners are like so good to me. Oh my goodness. So. And I'm telling you, when you have that cheese in the middle, that mozzarella cheese, oh my goodness. It's so good. Oops. Make ziti. So definitely make this, give it a try, serve it to your family, friends, you know, loved ones. And I definitely love to cook. I'm 
I just I just love it because it just brights my smile, just bright my day. And yes, baked ziti is very good to cook. It's very simple and easy. It may take about like an hour or two, depends on what time you get off work, you know. So yeah, this is the final result of baked ziti. This is for Hamilton. I'm going to give him his plate and then I'll be back to serve mine. See, and then when I make my spaghetti as well, Hamilton loves the grated Parmesan cheese. He loves this, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to serve my plate. And it, oh my goodness, it looks so good. I think I'm going to make this again, so not anytime soon. So I got to make other recipes, so. Hmm. Oh my god. Woo! That cheese is really gooey. I gotta get the plate. Man! So this will be for the weekend meal that we are going to eat for the weekend until next week i'm going to make some other meals so yeah okay all right let's pray before i test it out oh heavenly father god we thank you for this day thank you for who you are and what you are ahead of our lives god we thank you for our roof over our head with clothes on our back food in our mouths. God, we just thank you for our roof over our head. God, we just thank you for who you are and what you are. Continue to bless my subscribers, new subscribers, and people are just stopping by to bless my channel. Thank you so much for them. I appreciate each and every one of my new subscribers, subscribers, and OG subscribers. And I thank you for my other channel, um, The Beauty Room. God, but I thank you for letting me have the passion to show people how to cook with my channel of Donnie's Kitchen. In Jesus' name, we have ask that you bless this weekend for each and every one of us and bless the week for next week. For each and every one continue to bless us and protect us. Amen. Okay, so, this is my big ziti. Let's go for it. See that ooey gooey cheese? Oh my goodness. One more bite. Make this, please. Make this meal. I will leave it in the description box below. The ingredients and the recipe. God bless you all. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you in the next video. And have a blessed and safe week. Stay, stay encouraged. Dream big. Please stay safe out there. Be careful. And God bless you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.